Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome to part two of Marble Pots and Kim's Nature. It is Christmas Day today, so Merry Christmas everyone and a Happy New Year. A couple of days ago, I went on a road trip to Zins and we picked up our marble pots that we ordered from China and they were fantastic. And then we went to Kim's Nature, a bonsai and orchid nursery and had a tour of the place. I got a lot of gifts that day and I got some mail and so today I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got in the last couple of days. Earlier in the year, Troy from Fort Myers in Florida, USA, contacted me and wanted to send me a gift and it arrived just in time for Christmas. So let's have a look at it now. Troy sent me this really cool card. I really like it. Thanks, Troy. So here's his card. Bentley Skunk Works. And there, Troy Allen, Fort Myers, Florida. Troy underscore Allen at me.com. You can check out his website. Now, sadly, not everything made it okay. He sent me this. Really cool. I think this is for a soil scoop. I'm going to try it. I think I'll use it as a soil scoop. I think it'll work well for that. So I'm going to try that out. I think it's the perfect thing. You scoop in, get your soil, and then you can kind of put it around the tree nicely. So look for that in an upcoming video. Troy also sent me this really nice planter. Just beautiful. A matte glaze, speckled glaze. You can see the color of the clay there. Really nice purple flamingo and there's a maker stamp in the bottom and then a really nice greeny tan brown glaze on top so I think I'll put a, a planter in here uh, you know uh, one of those nursery pots in here and I think that'll look really good beautiful colors awesome now the unfortunate part Troy made me a pot and as soon as I picked the package up from the mailbox, you could hear something wasn't right. And it looks like a beautiful pot. I'm not going to open it right now because it's smashed into, oh. oh, it was such a nice pot. Look at it, greens and, oh, beautiful. So my plan is I'm going to try and epoxy it all together. That's why I don't want to open it. I don't want to lose any pieces. I want to keep the pieces approximately in the right spot so I'm not, you know, having too much trouble putting it together as a jigsaw. So it'll be a challenge. So look for that coming this winter where I'll try and put this pot all back together. Thank you so much, Troy, for the gifts. I'll try and get that one pot back together. I'll put the link to Troy's website in the description below. It seems like I've known Zen forever. But we only met in person for the first time earlier this year at the Kitchener Waterloo Bonsai Society's trunk sale. And since then we've gone on all kinds of cool bonsai adventures, including getting these marble pots shipped in from China. Ever since I first got into bonsai, I saw these fantastic Chinese trees in marble pots and I just fell in love with that look of a marble pot. As the marble pot gets older, they get kind of patina on them and they just look fantastic and it's probably my favorite looking pot is a marble pot so I always dreamed of having one and thanks to Zin and his wife Cherry we ordered some from China and they came in and they weren't broken thank goodness and it's just beautiful I, I love it I'm going to do a little finishing work on it I've got to drill my holes in the center of the pot put some drainage holes I'm going to finish the edges just a little bit, giving it a little bit more style. So marble is a fairly soft stone, so I think I can do some sanding and carving and filing on it just to bring the pot up. Um, give it that extra little bit to make it look really artistic. We weren't expecting these pots to be delivered until late January or February. They came in time for Christmas, so a nice Christmas present. So thanks very much, Zinn and Cherry. The Toronto Bonsai Society had a big auction at their monthly meeting in December. 
I bid on a lot of stuff, but I just, the price just kept going higher. All the money goes towards the club, so even if you bid too high, it benefits the club, so it's fantastic. I did manage to get one item, and that's this Japanese Cascade pot. Let's have a look at it. Here's a look at the pot. Beautiful pot, just really nicely made. A nice color clay. There's my name on the inside of it. Yeah, I was really happy to get that. I got that for $20. I thought that was a real bargain. Yeah, I couldn't believe no one bid against me on this one. Fantastic. And that's the only thing I got from the auction that night. Jay from Blue Jay Bonsai brought me my auction pot when we met at Kim's Nature the other day. He also brought me my Toronto Bonsai Society's 2022 calendar. It's a really awesome calendar. It's way larger than I expected it to be. Beautiful photographs. The photographs in the calendar are the ones that were taken at the Toronto boot sale or trunk sale in the middle of the summer. These calendars are available on the Toronto Bonsai Society's website. They are running out of them very quickly, so if you want one, you'll have to order it soon. I can't show you the photographs in it because it would spoil the surprise, but I will show you the month of May. Here is the month of May, and you can see my large forest is the feature trees. <laughs> so I'm really proud and happy to get my large forest on the calendar, so it's really cool. Jay from Blue Jay Bonsai also got me some gifts, which was awfully nice of him. He got me this Haas watering can and a mistletoe ficus plant or future bonsai. Here's a look at the watering can. It's a genuine Haas watering can created in England. Very cool. So I'm going to water my mistletoe fig with the Haas watering can. Here I go. Oh, that works really nicely. You can see the spray pattern. These watering cans are fantastic indoors. You know, it's a nice gentle spray so you don't put out too much water and flood the room and get it all over your table or anything. It's very precise. Works great. So thanks very much, Jay. So you'll see this tree developing in future videos. I went to Kim's Nature Bonsai Garden with the intent to buy some mud men and I never did. I was thinking I have this big lump of clay that Isabella gave me and I'm going to make my own mud men. So that'll be a project coming up this winter. That should be a lot of fun. I'll show you what I did get at Kim's Nature. Here's what I purchased that day. I got a new pair of these nice Japanese scissors. I'll show you those. Oh, are they ever beautiful? Wow. It says Japan on it here. Japan, and it's got a little, well, it probably says Japan in Japanese. I don't know. Maybe it's the makers. But yeah, really nice. So here's my other scissors. So they're a step larger. Both are really nice. So I was very happy to get those. I also got a used pot there. So this pot is a used one and it has all kinds of nice patina on it. It already looks old. The glaze is all crackled. It, yeah, it's a beautiful pot. If you have an old tree, it's nice to put them in an old looking pot. So the tree kind of matches the pot. So I was very happy to get that. Here's the maker of the scissors I got. Hopefully you can see that. It was really nice going to Kim's Nature and I actually got to meet Kim. So that was really cool too. Tom from the YouTube channel Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors also sent me a Christmas present. He sent me some ratcheting pruners. So these are really powerful. You can cut some fairly large limbs off with these. So they'll be really handy in the orchard and using on bonsai. So thanks very much, Tom. I want to finish the video by thanking all the zoners out there, the people who watch my videos. Thank you very much. Have a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. And we'll finish off today's video with today's update, a tour of the solar system. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.
Today's update is actually tonight's update. I'm heading over to the island to tour the solar system. Here I am at the entrance of the island. So let's cross the bridge now. All right, here I go across the bridge. Gotta be careful in case it's slippery. I think we'll start the tour over to planet Earth. So here's planet Earth and you can see the sun in the background there. So let's go find where I live on planet Earth. So here is Australia. So everyone say hi to Sam, the Aussie bonsai bloke. Good eye, Sam. Coming around to Africa. Wow. Big continent. There's South America coming. We're getting closer. Getting closer to home. And way up there is North America. And if you look at the Great Lakes area, that's right about where I am. The next is not a planet, but a star. It's our sun. Doesn't feel very hot tonight. It's a cold night out here. Next up, I think this is Mercury. I believe it's not the moon. It doesn't have the same crater pattern as the moon on it. So I'm thinking that's Mercury. So I think we're going in order here, closest to the sun. So we've got Mercury here, Venus, then Earth. There's Earth then, and Mars is behind it, right there. So let's keep touring the solar system. This is cool. The next planet is Mars. You can see all the features of Mars on there, really cool. And then we'll head over to Jupiter. Here we are at Jupiter next. Let's go see if we can find the great red spot. Next is Saturn. You can tell that's Saturn by the rings. I don't think those rings are quite to scale, but they're there. Next, we come to Neptune, the blue planet. Very cool. And the last planet, Uranus. Very cool. There's no Pluto. Pluto isn't really classified as a planet. It's a dwarf planet. It's amazing the fun you can have on a cold winter's night in Canada. That was a tour of the solar system on this cold winter night. It's time to cross the bridge and head back home now.